Welcome to the ECCAD Pipe Getting Started Session 2. In this session, we're going to look at some of the different options on drawing pipe. So to get started, we can just come up to our ribbon and go ahead and click on the pipe. And now everything that we're going to work with is going to be done in our properties palette for right now. So if we just go down and look at the properties palette, you can see we're drawing our chilled water, and this becomes a pull down with all your systems on it. We will cover setting up new systems in another video. Then this is your routing preference. Your routing preference is set up to show you what materials you're going to use. For instance, right now with the thread by weld, that means that I'm using threaded pipe up to a certain size and welded above. If you go to your size selection and look here, you'll see I've got anvil thread from half to two inch, and I've got weld bin butt weld from two and a half inch up to 24 inch. Specify cut length, you want to have set to yes, and I'm using 21 foot joints. Here is the elevation we're drawing our pipe at, at 10 foot. And we can also justify where we're holding the pipe. So here we've got it set that we're holding it by the center, but you can see the different ways you may hold it. You also have horizontal offset and vertical offset. If you're snapping to, say, a PDF file and you're wanting to snap to the lines on a flat PDF, that will take the pipe down to zero elevation. If you set your vertical offset up to 10 foot, even though it snaps to the zero elevation on the PDF file, it will keep the pipe at 10 foot. The horizontal offset would be if you wanted to follow, let's say, a wall and stay 10 inches off of it and use the wall snap points to route your pipe. Here we have an area for your slope. So you can see here I've got it mine set to fractional rise inches run equals 12 inches. So if I wanted to slope minus a quarter inch, I would just put in there minus 0.25 in that slope. I'm not going to use slope in this particular method. So now I've gone ahead and I've started my pipe in the model, but I want to come down, I'm going to finish a few things in the properties over here. Uh, if we come down here, we've got some gasket information that we'll cover in a little bit. But also, what type of branch fittings are we using? Do you want to use a T or a Y? We have options to use a T or a Y, a takeoff, which would be a weld alet or a thread alet or a shaped nipple. Uh, you can also do Y lateral or Y lateral or T. So these are just some of the different selections. You also can go in here and change your fitting settings here. By just clicking on the fitting settings, that's going to open up this dialog box where I could come in here and change from a weld let. Say maybe I want to come in here and I want to use a shaped nipple now on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK on that. And then you can also have it put down automatically annotations by simply coming over here and selecting the type of annotation you want. I'm going to say I want standard pipe with system label. Now when I go through here and I go to place this pipe into the model, I'm just going to go ahead and say I want to put that here. And now as I turn the corner on, it's going to automatically insert my elbow. So let's review what we've done by just drawing this simple layout. We used the weld bend part, so if I hover over this elbow, that shows me what part that is, and you can see the weld gap that it's placed between the pipe and the elbow. If you want to come off with a branch, you can click onto the piece of pipe, and they all have grips on them. This plus grip will allow you to pull a T off of this piece of pipe, because I have it set to T at this particular point. If I want to go ahead and just bring that over and drop that in, that now has placed me a T in there, and it's uh, annotated my 8-inch chilled water pipe. If you need to make a change to this, you want to change this down to 6-inch, you can just simply click on the pipe, come back to your properties palette, and go ahead and just say, I want to select that down to 6-inch now. So that's going to update all of my annotation and change my T out for me to an 8 by 8 by 6 T in lieu of the 8 by 8 by 8. When you're also continuing on from here, if you want to grab a hold of a grip and just say, now maybe I want to put an elbow here and turn that down. But if we really wanted to continue from that point, you can come back here and you can click back onto the elbow and you can grab this grip right here and say, now I really want to extend that on out. So now that just morphed that elbow into a T. 
The other grips that you see here allow you to move the parts. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want to grab this pipe right here. And I'm going to grab the move grip, which is in the center, and I'm just going to slide that T over, and that just sl slides it around. So if I want to move this one down, I can come up here and simply map, grab the move grip, and now I'm going to shorten that length. If you want to come off in a different spot other than the center of the pipe, you can always grab a part. Maybe I want to put a T over here so far, I can just grab that and right-click right onto this T and say add selected. So what that does, that puts that T onto my cursor and now I can place that on the pipe anywhere I want to place it. So if I just come over here and touch it onto the pipe, now I can rotate that fitting around, okay? If I want that to come down here, I'm just going to go ahead and give it the, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a different angle. So I put it at 180 and placed it up the other direction. If I want to come off of this with a different branch type or come up in elevation, it's just by simply clicking the plus grip, now I can come over to my elevation in my properties and say I want to go up to, let's say, 144 inch elevation or 12 foot. That brought my fitting up in elevation to that selected elevation. So now if I take a look here into this and put this into the object viewer, We'll take a look at this at what we've done with that coming up in elevation, up and over. If we want to come in here and maybe change a different type of visual style to see that a little clearer, maybe I'm going to come over here and say I want to see that shaded. And there you can see right that came up and over. And that concludes the session number two of routing with piping in ECCAT. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit map.trimble.com for even more product resources.